Hi, welcome back channel Train Station 2. Alright, we got second in this uh, Peru 2022 first competition. Uh, first up, to, of course, they apologize for the fact that delay in the Peru event. I think uh, many players have been frustrated over the delay. Uh, there are also many uh, players that have been commenting on this um, new sound of the uh, game itself that's not so interesting as compared to the previous one so I'm not too sure whether which one you prefer uh, apparently been used to um, the old sound I think it's so much better um, compared to this um, it's like uh, <laughs> too childish uh. alright so um, in this uh, competition to the first one as usual uh, they'll be asking about uh, non-event items at the start but uh, once this competition ended uh, you will need to prepare for the second one which will definitely be asking a lot of event items so um, I'll urge you to uh, keep on to building the uh, event items uh, store them in the warehouse and just keep to the event factory uh, round the clock working really hard um, meanwhile, uh, do store up to lots of those uh, nails uh, and wood as well. So um, by now you should know um, they are the sub-components uh, of the event uh, factory materials uh, produced. And of course, don't forget to, to collect gold every four hourly. Um, you need a lot of gold to do upgrade. And uh, upgrading a single train in this region cost me about ten over a thousand. So it's really expensive and lots of parts as well. So uh, make sure you do um, enjoy your time in uh, the earlier uh, regions because those are the best. Uh, once you move up to uh, to to uh, maybe region 3 or 4 you start to feel the heat uh, in terms of uh, the money involved and the uh, parts involved in upgrading trains so um, i do remember the best time was in region 1 has really cheap uh, but again um, it's unlike the uh, other game whereby you shouldn't be rushing uh, to play train station 2 you should gradually progress it um, once i entered uh, into the new region it's always painful um, just like where I am right now. Um, fighting for competitions is really tough. Um, sometimes you're stuck with just one train uh, when the restrictions um, hits in. Like for example, if you're asking for uh, rare and uh, in a new region uh, and you only have one or two, and this is really painful. Um, you just got to keep on uh, using the five building technique you can see here uh, to increase uh, your population because you need those uh, for your factory uh, warehouse upgrade apologies for that so as for factory i'm talking about is really uh, trying to use the factory as the interim warehousing so that's how i use it uh, i don't have a really huge factory if you just started the game not too long make sure you focus on building um, your population uh, so you can get your factory up and huge size I am really need to do housekeeping as and when because of a small uh, warehouse um, always remove those odd items it's no longer useful so that will free up some space um, in order for me to keep on building the event items so sometimes you know just move it down to a round number helps a few store space as well so um, as usual uh, when you start a new event um, make sure you do upgrade uh, the factory by two more slots. I'm talking about an event factory. So you have four slots of production. Uh, but that's only provided that you have upgraded all your core factories, i.e. the non-event factories, uh, to the fullest. Otherwise, do not uh, start spending gems on events. Do spend your gems wisely. Um, they're hard to get. And uh, make sure increase warehouse uh, spaces is really important as well. So all this uh, contributes. Um, do remember to upgrade your fleets, uh, get fleet size uh, through spending of keys. So um, capacity is a must. Um, increase one of the event legendary to 80, uh, that will help a lot. Uh, but it's a very long journey, but just make sure you get it done. Um, so you get a maximum goal every 4 hourly. Alright, uh, started late, uh, about 12, uh, 13 hours or so. Um, that puts me in a better position to, uh, and uh, of course uh, really have very strong union players they are really working really hard so in this uh, video you will see me um, enjoying the hard work of my uh, union members uh, who actually fight so hard to create such a very huge gap I've never seen before uh, almost twice the number of uh, EP of the second group so that's really huge um, 
Lucky me, some of the jobs require Region 8, uh, which have a large fleet and a large uh, capacity fleet. Um, but if it required Region 9, it's really painful. Um, you can see here at the start it was leading. Uh, very quickly later on, it'll be overtaken uh, because we start with a few of the Region 9 restriction jobs, so that's really painful. Uh, but uh, again, to keep on struggling. Um, I did spend, I think, about five gems uh, at the end of the uh, near the end of the competition so in order to finish one job, and that propels me from a third spot to the second spot. Um, always do that at the last uh, 10 seconds or so. That's the way to do it. So you can see um, first place is impossible. So I just spend this uh, five gems, get it done in the last 10 seconds. Uh, this opens up a new place. Uh, looking good. All right, so uh, let's check out. Uh, that is well spent five gems and uh, we got it done. Okay, so that gives me 250 um, event coins. Uh, just gonna save up to 1000. So uh, this is uh, hopefully on the 4th or 5th competition, we're able to get that legendary. So at least another legendary in this new region. Um, really hard to get legendary from the region. Uh, it's really, really almost impossible unless you're really lucky. So um, claim the uh, prize from the union as well. Uh, really good. Feeling happy and uh, time for a little break. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe. Goodbye.